that bonding. Um, so I'm actually really proud of it, and I do know it's it wouldn't be able to be published on a wide scale, but I do feel like, especially in Frisco, it would, could be a resource that different speech pathologists gave their students and parents, especially if the family is bilingual. Okay, so my quote, we all had to pick a quote this year in ISM that we really wanted to embody our time and um, what we were trying to accomplish. And I chose The Privilege of a, privilege of a Lifetime is Being Who You Are by Joseph Campbell. Um, and I really love this quote because I feel like not a lot of people are given the opportunity to be themselves and with ISM you're allowed to express exactly what you want and how that relates to your life personally and how you can contribute to the world through this medium of your occupation. And I feel like being who you are means accepting who you are and accepting who you are means accepting how the world works. And really accepting how the world works means that you're accepting that you can make changes and making changes is exactly what I really hope to do kind of in the special education field, speech pathology specifically this year. Um, and that's really just kind of making changes is kind of how I want to form it, like formulate my whole life around and my pursuit of whatever career I end up deciding on in the future. Um, ISM really, for those of you that, you know, aren't really that familiar with the program, just being able to talk to people and having conversations and being able to interview people and now me being able to speak in front of you for 30 plus minutes is something that's really applicable to any profession you go into. So if I end up just completely like going into business, something that's not even in special education, I'm still going to use the tools that I learned this year. And But if I do end up going into special education, I feel like I have a pretty solid base that I can jump off of. I've learned a lot and um, the research I've done is all compiled in my portfolio and I can reference it and it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, next fall, I plan to attend UNT and major in psychology. Um, I'm really excited. I have, <laughs> I have this picture of when I went on my UNT tour. Um, you can't tell I'm on UNT <laughs> if you don't know, like I'm on the campus, if you haven't been there and you don't know it well, but. I, I put it on the slide because my mom was freaking out when we went on this tour about how many fat squirrels there were on campus. And she made, I have like seven pictures of me with squirrels in the background because she was so like excited about there were like little cute fat animals all over campus. And um, <laughs> I put that picture on there because um, just everyone who has, you know, really helped me through this year has really helped me have a good experience. And um, especially my mom making me excited about going off to college and Coach Goff for helping me through rough times in ISM and my sisters for always being supportive when I was tired after a long day. Um, I really just feel like this embodies how much everyone has really gathered around to support me. And I would really like to thank everyone that has come to my presentation tonight. You all mean the world to me. Um, I don't know how I'd be able to do this amazing program without the vast amount of support I've gotten over the two years. And I'm really excited for you all to come along with me in the future and for our like kind of journey together to keep growing as I graduate. So thank you for supporting ISM. Um, it's a great program and it, we're really appreciative of your support in coming out tonight. Does anyone have any questions? No? Okay. Well, thank you so much and get home safe.